Coming up this week, we got the all new Honda Civic Sport. We're gonna see if this is the last resort of the gasoline gas savers as the EV models are taking over the planet with everybody going electric. So we're gonna test this thing out, see if it has what it takes to still stay competitive in that range. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker. You watch Life Off Road right here on JW Motorsports. Welcome to another episode of Life Off Road. The car we're featuring this week is the all new Honda Civic Sport. This is actually the uh, 2020 model. Um, you know, the Civics have always have a, a rich history with the Hondas. You know, they always were kind of your, your base model as far as, you know, your entry levels before you jumped into the real full, full size of the Honda Accords or whatnot. But this car was always a, a pretty, pretty good car. And uh, ironically, this is not mine. It actually belongs to uh, my son. This is uh, his baby here. He just picked it up a few weeks ago. So we decided to shoot some morning and I'll let you guys see it. But it's a good car, man. You know, Civics have really come a long way as comparison to the, the old days. I believe the Civics came out maybe in the 60s, early 70s when they first came out. And I believe this body style here is the 10th generation of this car and as you see over the years I think it's made a pretty dramatic change as far as the last generation you know several generations in the mid 90s early 2000s they were all kind of looking kind of the same they had little subtle changes here and there but I think when they came out with this generation here they really kind of just retweaked it and just kind of redesigned the whole car which I like they made it a little bit more more muscular a little bit more sexy you know, like I said, this is the sport version, so this is not the basic version. So, you know, the sport version, you get a few few extra bells and whistles. You know, you get uh, some nice wheels to go in it. You know, you get your nice fog lamps. You know, this car actually sits pretty uh, pretty aggressive to my stance. You know, I think it's a, a good looking car. You know, it doesn't look as plain Jane as your, your base Civics, but uh, this is not bad. This one, uh, like I said, this is the sport package. So you get the ground effects on here. You have the nice little sport wheels that come over here. With this model here, you get the bigger brake calibers compared to the base, you know, Honda Civic. So I do believe when I read that they have a, a tweaked up uh, suspension to help with the, the ride. But this thing comes with a set of 235s, you know, tire sizes, which is pretty, pretty big on a car like this, you know, most Honda Civics, you know, the biggest tire you might get is maybe some 205s, but for this to have some 235s, 4018s at that, you know, that was unheard of, you know, putting on the Civic. So I think that's a pretty good, good look for what Honda is trying to go. So, uh, like I said, it comes with a set of good years, um, 18 inch wheels and, um, this paint job, this is what they call a platinum white pearl. And it's beautiful in person. You can see kind of the glistening, the crystals in the paint job. It's a very, very good look, especially since we have a beautiful day here in the ATL. So uh, you can kind of really see the, the shine off the car. But um, let's kind of go over the interior and see what this thing has. Before we get to that though, I believe these are equipped with the 2.0 liter four cylinders and they range horsepower range anywhere from 150 to 185 horsepower I believe this one has the uh, it's naturally aspirated it's no turbo charges or anything like that so this one I believe has the 180 horsepower package and probably zero to 60 is maybe you no know, seven and a half eight seconds I mean it's not a burn it's not a sports car it's a it's a Civic but it, it does just enough you know this is the type of car that you would get you know your kids whether they graduated high school or college a lot of people this is normally their first cars one of my best friends his first car he had was a Civic so you know this is kind of always your starter car and Honda's I mean it's a Honda you can drive it for a million miles but enough of all of that stuff let's uh let's sit here and uh go over the interior all right folks so we're inside the car now and as you see it's uh pretty roomy in here um, this car does have the 
you know, as you see all the bells and whistles, you have your nice seven inch screen here. You have your nav system here. You get, of course you have the Apple Play, Android and all that good stuff. It does have, uh, I don't think it has a wireless charger, but you do have a USB port and all that in here. And I like this, where you have this underneath storage right here too. You know, a lot of newer cars now creating that extra space down here, you know, as far as giving you extra storage. You know, of course the electric cars have a whole flat panel because there's no transmission, but a lot of newer cars are going that route. I like the armrest here. These seats are pretty good. You know, this is a sport edition, so you have, uh, your leather wrap stitching around some of the seats with the, the cloth mixed in, which I, I do like. But let's start off with how I like the door panels. You know, the door panels on this car, I like the finish of that as far as the silver with the black. Like I said, it's a good good touch. You know, it's nothing crazy, it's nothing astronomical. And as you come in and we get the dash, you know, I like this little panel here, how everything looks and how it just really well blends in with the car. This is a good color combination with this car and as far as how they did it even the shifter looks good you know you have uh your your gadgets and stuff here you have your few of your steering wheel controls up here up top of course and this is a good looking steering wheel too but we'll get to that later but uh you do have um your parking brake most of the newer cars too have your kind of your button parking brake right here and you do have your full sport mode if you want to go into sport you just put it all the way into sport I forgot what speed transmission this is, but uh, it's, uh, I want to say it's a six or a seven speed. It does have your econ mode here. You got a lot of room here for your storage. You can just use the, the phones and everything. But it's pretty roomy uh, in here. It's a good looking interior. This doesn't have the sunroof in here, but it does have everything else. Uh, Juwan, why don't you come over to the other side so I can show everybody the, uh, the dash over here. All right, folks. So. Uh, we over here on this side here, like I said, I love the uh, the gauge cluster you have here. You got your digital speedometer that shows your RPM and everything and whatnot. You know, you do have your start button finish, uh, your start button here. Everybody's going to the push start, which is always cool. Your paddle shift is here. Like I said, when you put it in sport mode, you can drive the car, you know, manually or whatnot. And with all the sport packages, you get the uh, the racing pedals. If Joanne, you can zoom in down here. You have your racing pedals, so that gives you a nice little grip as you're driving. Your foot doesn't slip on and off the pedals, which is, you know, when you have the sport edition of any type of car, any type of sport car, you want those pedals to give you insurance that you know your foot's not going to slide off the accelerator, or whatnot. But overall, like I said, this is a pretty pretty nice basic interior like i said it's you know honda the civics have really come a long way as far as you know doing the inside of their cars and it's just not looking they've always had nice interiors you know compared to the american-made cars and the american-made cars have gotten better with their interiors you know your ie your chevrolets your fours your buicks or whatnot but um this is a good system like i said uh you have everything right here at your fingertips and the back seat um, it's pretty roomy you could get probably you know two two you know average size adults back here you know it's nothing crazy uh, I can fit back there of course you can't really let the seat entirely too back but because uh, I'm all the way back in this seat and I also like this little panel, you know, I love this panel that, you know, Honda put on here. You know, I guess every sport uh, package of this car has that panel, which is cool. So, overall, I like the car. So, let's take it out for a ride, see how she does. All right, here we go. 2020 Honda Civic Sport. This is the sport model of the Civic. You know, Civic's been out for a long time. They, uh, they always been considered kind of the the baby brother of the of the Honda Accord, but uh, they've always been a, a great car, very very reliable car. You know, I mean, for years they've been known for their economy as far as you know gas mileage and all that good stuff. But it's it's really been a great practical car. I mean, you could put a million miles on this thing. 
And over the years, the body styles have always kind of looked kind of similar, but I think over recent years, they kind of really did a drastic change to kind of jazz them up a little bit, and they, and they look pretty good. You know, this is a sport model here, so, you know, we just gonna test this in this paces, come around these curves, and uh, so far it handles very well. That's a good, practical, reliable car. And you know, Hondas, you know, you can you can drive these things, like I said, you know, between them and Toyotas, you can put a million miles on these cars. All you gotta do is pretty much, you know, keep the oil changed and you you'll be you'll be okay, you know, in most most parts. But you know, they're pretty, like I said, they're pretty well reliable cars. You know, you just keep them maintenance wise and you know, like I say, you keep this thing forever. This would be a great daily driver. Over the years, I feel like this thing has gotten a little bit bigger on the inside. You know, Civics used to be kind of real, real tiny on the inside. You know, they they came out way back in the day when they used to have the CRXs. I remember my sister had an 86 CRX. That was a five-speed that she had uh, right when she went off to college. And I remember going with her to, uh, <laughs> to, to pick it up and there was a five speed at the time I was only maybe 14 at the time and but as I said in videos past you know our mother's friend taught us how to drive the stick so driving the stick for us wasn't wasn't anything you know it was actually cool because you know you couldn't get your learner's permit until you turn you know 15 but uh, you know it was pretty cool but you know, those are pretty good cars and those the CRX's were like I said were the hatchbacks and normally with the hatchbacks you know you had the kind of little glass window in the back or whatnot but you know they're pretty cool cars and then the Civics were always the, the four doors and then eventually they went away from the, the CRX's and they came back some years some years ago past but they just weren't really never the same. I don't think they really did too well as far as sales wise. But it's still a good practical car. But this right here, man, this is a very, very good car. Like I said, it's very smooth. It's um it's pretty practical. And I'm sure fuel economy you could probably get maybe I want to say this thing fuel economy wise is maybe 30, 30 miles per gallon in the city and Maybe 38 on the highway. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good. But this has room for five, of course, uh, a small five. You know, you can probably get, you can get two adults in the back and maybe a small child in the middle seat, the hump seat is what we would call it. But uh, it's a good, good reliable car. It's very smooth. I love the dash set out in this thing. You know, this is uh that's one thing Honda is definitely not, Honda's always had good good products, don't get me wrong, but interior-wise, they have always had pretty good setups as far as the you know the gauge cluster, the radio setup here is a nice little touch screen. This is probably a seven-inch screen or whatnot. And uh the digital dash, I mean it's it's uh it's pretty pretty uh race car like. That's funny saying that out of the Civic, but uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. But this is really, like I said, a a practical car. This would be a a great daily driver. You know, you need something like this, especially me, if I had a a daily driver like this to go back and forth to work. This would be definitely the the perfect car. And like I said, these cars are still trying to, they're, they're really hanging in there because you know, everybody's going to the EV model now, you know, with your Teslas, you know, the Ford Mustang, the Mach-E has, has come out, you know, as far as, you know, saving on, it's all, well, not saving fuel, it's, it's all electric. So it's, uh, you know, that's kind of taking the road. But these cars here, the economy cars are still kind of trying to hang in there as far as, you know, practice practicality and um i don't think they're going anywhere in a while i know hondas probably have an ev model i'm sure they'd be coming out soon but 
you know, fuel costs and everything, you know, it's, it's what it is, you know, it goes up and down, fluctuates. You know, the benefit of having the EV car is that it's always, you know, you just plug it up and it's not, you know, it charges up and you're not, you're not burning anything. Your electric bill doesn't go up. I mean, it's just, you know, practically uh, pretty safe. And like I said, man, you can put a million miles on this car. This car will last forever if you take care of it. You know, I've seen people who still have this Civics from the mid nineties to, you know, early two thousands. I mean, they're pretty, pretty good cars, man. They're, they're, they're pretty bulletproof. I mean, like I said, Honda really, uh, really uh, always kept them, their mark as far as reliability and, and, guaranteed good products and they're like I said they're not all that expensive like I said this one right here probably starts you out around you no know, early 20s maybe and depending on how you want to dress it up you know you go all out but it's a good car Terry is great I even like even from the door panels. I mean, the dash. I mean, everything looks it looks pretty cool in here, folks. I mean, it's it's they they, they didn't really mess around when they uh, designed this car. I mean, it's uh from the house outside to everything. You know, the outside, like I said, you know, even with the lines of the car, you know, the curves and everything, they made it look very very sporty like. And um, that's what you want. You know, you still today. You know. Everybody can't afford a, 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 a Mustang or a Camaro or whatnot. You know, they can, uh, you know, they have to, uh, you know, stay in the budgets, you know, what we call, you know, ballers on the budget. And like I said, most of these, uh, these newer cars have the same, um, you know, uh, collision mitigation system that uh, hits the brakes for you if you get close to a car or whatnot. You know, and safety features. You know, that most of the new cars have them. They, um, like I said, it's a pretty good feature. Sometimes it can get a little annoying, but you know, it's you know, it's all for safety. You know, so I get it. You know, we'll put it in manual mode a little bit later and. Uh, See how she does, but uh, everything's pretty, it's pretty, pretty simple in here. You know, Honda kind of keeps it, you know, kind of to the basics. You know, they don't really overwhelm you with the electronics as far as just, uh, you know, keeping it, keeping it simple. All right, let's do a little punch here. See what we got. This is naturally aspirated, folks. I don't think there's a turbo in this bad boy. I believe it's uh, naturally aspirated. So we definitely, when you punch it, it definitely goes. You know, it's, uh, it's a little something as I'm reminded. <laughs> I do like this feature here on the dash, the gauge cluster. It's kind of keeping track of your fuel spending. Like right now, it's showing we're averaging about 27 miles a gallon, then when you punch it, you see the gas will kind of just go down <laughs> up a little bit. Not too much, so it's not drinking gas like it's a V8, but you know, you get the idea. That's a pretty cool feature. I've never seen it on the car. You know, kind of keep track of your fuel. So, that always works. I want to say these start out around, you know, the Honda Civics normally start out around low 20s maybe you probably get one blow it out for maybe mid 30s you know probably at the top maybe mid 30s low 30s and they're not really that expensive at all really because it's like i said it's, it's a hundred you know? it's a civic like i said it's not an accord but this would be a good starter car for somebody you know someone you know for like one of your your kids or whatever someone's going off to college or they might have just graduated from college you know this would be a good good start a car for them to get it going you know good practical car you know and they've made them look a lot cooler you know especially like this is a sport model you know this one has you know 
know, some, some cool looking wheels on it. It's got a center mount exhaust that looks kind of Aventador-ish, you know. <laughs> Don't kill me Lamborghini guys, but you know, it's 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 cool. I like I like how they, the, the look they went for with it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, pretty good look. You know, it's not, it's not bad at all. Well, that's it for this edition. I want to thank, uh, for starters, my cameraman, which is my son, uh, Jawan, because this is his car. So uh, I appreciate him letting us take it out for a spin. And also, uh, go over to Lithium Springs Honda and uh, ask for Jackie. You know, he helped us out on purchasing this car, and he's a great salesman. He's uh, sold quite a few cars to uh, myself. Uh, my mother's bought a couple of cars from him, and... Um, and vice versa. This is Juwan's second car purchasing from him. So uh, you go lift these springs on the ass for Jackie. And um, this was a great car. Like I said, this is a great starter car for, you know, if you're graduating from high school or college. So you can't go wrong with it. Uh, I want to give special shout outs to my new subscribers as uh, I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing to the channel. So where do we leave off? Uh, we have, uh, let's see. Here we go, um, Patrick Polin Polino, hope I'm, hope I didn't butcher that. Uh, Mr. Byron Hill, we have a Chris Rogers, uh, Ishan Palwa, Andrew Cronin, Eric McGee, uh, Corv Stop Corv Stoplin, hope I'm pronouncing that. Uh, Willis Myrick, KDATL, and. Uh, who did I miss over here? Saw one more. Oh, David Samnick. Thank you guys for uh, liking and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please, you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, we're trying to grow this thing here a little bit. Uh, like and subscribe. Go to my website, jdubmotorsports.com. We have a lot of merch. You know, if you want some apparel, we have t-shirts, hoodies, keychains. I always say for men and women, we don't discriminate. And uh, we have all sorts of sizes and whatnot. But uh, check it out. And like I said, I thank every one of y'all for uh, tuning in. And um, appreciate you guys uh, looking up or whatnot. And don't forget to turn on your notifications too when you do subscribe. So if you subscribe to the channel, turn that bell on, your notifications bell. So whenever I upload a video, it will alert you that I have a new video coming out. So that way I don't have to keep texting some of y'all you know, to get the videos out. I know I sometimes might text a few of y'all who've already subscribed. So uh, if you turn your notifications on, I have to, I could cut that list down in half. But other words, uh, appreciate you. You guys enjoy your uh, rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you next time.